DigitMG channel. We have a lot of people who are moving into their data careers, dream jobs. Today we have Sripriya with us, who is working as a associate data scientist with InnoDataTechs. Right. Uh, she is one of the uh, few students that I would be very proud of. Um, I should say she's my student. She was my student, and uh, right. Yes. The practice, the dedication, of course. That that is that is a result of the um, right job placement that we are seeing right now. So welcome, Sri Priya, and uh, thank you for uh, accepting this invitation and uh, joining us live. Um, yes. For our audience, yes. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. Sorry. Yes. Hello, Sharad. I'm so glad to have a meeting with you. You are my trainer. Yes. Okay, great. great. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, Sri Priya, um, I'll, I'll basically try to uh, right, directly come to the point. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would want you to uh, explain or, or share your plan on how you prepare for the content, up, upskilling yourself with respect to the concepts um, mm -hmm. right from Python, then data science concepts, the SQL concepts, right? How did you plan yeah. and how did you prepare these concepts? Mm -hmm. And um, right, how did you clear the interview? Yes, when it comes to course, I have completed the uh, DS course and you are the trainer and I, I never get bored of listening to your lectures even for two minutes also uh Thank you. yes Thank you. i was uh i used to uh write notes use it to write running notes uh when you are uh, giving lecture and mm -hmm. i take the notes of a 400 pages and that was a great uh uh achievement for me to uh go through those uh, notes even when i was uh, preparing for viva i used to take glance of that so it is so easy for me to uh, rewind the thing remind the things so when it comes to python as i'm already a it student uh, i didn't get any uh, doubts and i also uh, i'm used to that python but when it comes to a situation even you are an IT student or non-IT student, you have to practice in the daily basis. Right. If you feel that you are an IT student and I don't want to uh, work on Python or SQL, we can't do things with uh, in the data science. Uh, data science, when it comes to preparation, uh, you would always say that revision is best practice to uh, get into the data science field. Always. Uh, I will take notes and in at the night beginning of your class, I will I will revise the things. When it comes to next class, you would you would ask the questions like what was the things that I explained in previous class? So uh, I used to sit in the uh, first bay inside. You will uh, you will definitely ask. So I will revise the things better better in the previous day so i will answer you okay when, great, great, to great. Viva, when it comes to viva uh data science uh, we have data science mind maps and also the python mind maps in our website right i used to go through that but will always say when he joined in uh, daily meetings of projects he used to say that please go through those mind maps of data science and each and every element he used to ask within those uh, project need. Nevertheless, what is the project theme or a project uh, domain? He will ask data science questions, concepts. So I revised the data science mind map and Python mind map along with that SQL. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Sri Priya, for that uh, response. So yes. uh, if I have to summarize, uh, daily practice, going through yes. the mind map, mm -hmm. preparing running notes and going through the running notes for a quick glance so that right the things are revised again in the same day. Yes. These, yes. Are, these are the things basically yeah, try to help you remember things because of mm -hmm. uh, the last subject that we are talking about. 
Yes. And the subject is also correlated. One topic is correlated to the other topic. So you should yes. not be getting fumbled here, right? So that for that reason mm -hmm. also, daily practice is a must. Well said, well said. Yes. Now, let me ask you a question with respect to your experience on the projects. How do you think mm -hmm. the theoretical subject that you have learned and uh, how do you think this practical yes. exposure of working on the internship project helped mm -hmm. to understand and, and uh, basically apply the knowledge in a real world problem? Okay. Uh, when it comes to real time projects that you will provide on our platform, uh, I worked on three real time projects. Those are uh, two has a student and one has a project mentor. When it comes to these projects, I really uh, want to say that these are the good exposure for me to know how these data science projects will be handled by this data scientist. And uh, when when it comes to comparing with these theory that was taught by you. And practically doing in the real time projects is a great practice for us to know how the things are going on. The flow uh, you will you will be said about this crisp MLQ project management methodology. Right, all these methods will be performed by us. Like uh, we will know about the domain and we will get immense knowledge about the domain. Then we will uh, collect the data. And you will be provided with uh, client data. Then we will pre-process the data, and we will go for building ML and those A models, and we will evaluate, and we will get the results and deployment, deploying our model into client environment, like an uh, data engine. All the work of data engineer, data analyst, and visualization when it comes to analyzing the things and also building the models as a data scientist and MLOps also involved in our project. This is the beauty of uh, doing real world projects in, in our data ticks and also this 360 DGTM. And, and also one more thing, those uh, yes, no. morning, morning sessions of a daily meets. Those are all uh, the things made me to change my daily routine itself. I use it to learn and I choose it to spend more time in nights. I'm a night owl, to be frank. When Barney came into picture and he uh, scheduled all the project meets at morning, 5 to 6 p.m., 6.30, all those things are very pretty interesting. Yeah, so the idea is to ensure that everybody gets um, right opportunity to participate in the meetings and that is the one time where do a lot of people uh, curse us but it's a learning yes. curve right so you, you'll get yes. ample daytime when you get yes. the initial meeting set in the morning itself so you'll know mm -hmm. you can plan the entire day and you know what you will be able to do on that particular day that is one of the reasons why we have meetings on the early morning right yeah and the example I changed my daily routine yeah, obviously, it has to be. Yes. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, so one more uh, uh, simple question. Yes. You're, you're working in Innodatetics right now and you're getting exposed to various things. Yes. Um, right. Uh, what additionally you suggest to students, participants who are now trying to become data scientists and data analysts, what additional mm -hmm. concepts do you suggest to them along with their regular content that they are getting training on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it comes to suggestion, as per my experience, don't put more pressure on you. And please enjoy the process of uh, achieving the goal. Don't put pressure. Uh, if, you, if you are concentrating more on the results, that will uh, put pressure on you. So enjoy the process and be consistent uh, and also be patient. This, uh, this course will go on up to 10 months. Uh, along, with, along with our course and also along with this real-time projects. In this journey, you have to be more patient and you have to consistently work on the things. We have to uh, 
we have to practice on Python, SQL, and those algorithms in ML or AL. Right. After going to this, after doing these projects, we have to work on, we have to revise the things that are uh, taught four months back. So, <laughs> So we have to practice and we have to get into the mind of uh, do, doing revi doing revision daily. And so this will work for me. This worked on me and also Vani always uh, to say uh, stretch your boundaries. <laughs> this line, yeah, yeah this line worked yeah. for me a lot. Do not pamper yourself, work hard. That's making mm -hmm. your uh, life and career yes. better. Yes, That's absolutely correctly said. So practice daily, friends. Ensure that you take baby steps, but ensure that you consistently take. don't like to jump into a different level altogether. Stay, uh, take small goals. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the process of achieving. Don't try to set the goals, set the results for those goals, but enjoy the process. That's that's the suggestion from Sri Priya. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Sri Priya, for attending and uh, right um, sharing your insights and your uh, experiences with our participants. Thank you so much, and uh, looking forward to see you excel in your careers and uh, right. Good luck and uh, keep keep sharing your knowledge. Knowledge. To yes. Others. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good night, friends. Thank